We're back on shift inside the ambulance. Hello, Black Country! Hey! We're back! Go, 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 go. We're with the West Midlands Ambulance Service. Oh. We're watching your belly's a pain. Does it look bad to you? As they face more heart-pounding action... OK, I'll chest for me. Clear! Everyone, Everyone clear! clear. ..and more medical emergencies. Right. OK, we've got some good respiratory effort now. Battling over 4,000 calls each day. I can't help you. Don't cry, darling. I've had enough, you know. Look at that! <coughs> there are some new faces. <laughs> Can I wear the team chains? Pretty please. And some old friends. I love you, John Stevens. No, you don't. Yes, I do. My life has been positively dead without you. Body-mounted cameras record every moment. Can we come in and have a chat? No. You've got a favourite teddy you want to take with you? I'm going to need to shave you. To show you what goes on behind closed doors. <laughs> we'll need to call security for these pair. They've been nothing but trouble. You'll be on the front line with the ambulance crews as we take you inside the ambulance. Look, you go. To the royal blue yonder. Okay, let's go. You know when you feel like you forgot something. What do you think you forgot? I don't know. I've got, like, a weird, like, knowledge of number plates and stuff. Like, you could literally tell me any number plate and I'll be able to tell you what year it was. Efridge. He's still, still younger than me. It's an 89. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why the Queen doesn't wave with his hand? Why? Because he's fine. <laughs> that's... Honestly, that's a <laughs> proper bad joke, honestly. In the West Midlands are paramedic Ben Fletcher and trainee paramedic Anna Ray. They've just been sent information about a critically ill patient. So we've got a cardiac arrest apparently outside. Outside. Outside the address here. Yeah. It's a category one, the most urgent call the team can get. The police there. Five seven. Five seven. Thank you. Police are on the scene. Have had the patient been involved in an RTC. Receive seven. Yeah, receive. Thank you. Hi guys. Yeah. Okay, what happened? The 65-year-old man has stopped breathing, and the medics already with him can't find a pulse. You carry on. It's thought the patient suffered a major cardiac arrest while driving. Witnesses saw his van veer across a busy road, hitting a car and then crashing into a lamppost. Keep it going. As he's not breathing, Anna needs to force air into his lungs. Can you stop for a second? Yeah. That's fine. Carry on. If you can count to 30, then I will be doing two breaths, yeah? Okay, carry on. Carry on. The patient's now been having CPR for around five minutes. You want to stop that? You've knackered my love. If one of you wants to take over, um, airway, I can do the yep. compressions. Yeah. Okay, do you want me to take over? Just check with him, Anna. Anna, just huh? check with him. Okay. 
the man's heart is failing. So, OK, well, I'm going to charge it up. Ben needs to try and shock it back into a normal rhythm. Are you ready, Anna? Off chest for me. Off and clear. OK, back on chest for us then. Thank you. Just say when you want to swap out. I'm all right. Sorry. You're going to do a break. OK. okay. We've got some spontaneous. Just, can... Nice, Lindy. Yes. OK, off chest for me. Clear. Everyone clear. clear. OK, lovely. Back Go on. on. A second crew have arrived to support Ben and Anna. You get scoop for us. My husband got a scoop, so we can just pop you on a stretcher. Is everyone happy to lift? Does yeah. it? Yeah. 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 The longer the patient remains like this, the higher his risk of brain damage should he survive. Fifteen minutes downtime currently. So far, there's been no real sign of improvement in his condition. Can we get some entitled to two on him as well? Yes. Right, adrenaline going in there. An adrenaline shot could help restore the man's heart rhythm. Arriving on scene is Ian, an emergency medical consultant. He volunteers for the West Midlands Central Accident Resuscitation and Emergency Team, known as the CARE Team. Just had one lot of adrenaline, three oh, shots. Okay. So when you found him, he was in VF? Yeah. VF is short for ventricular fibrillation. Do we know what time that was? Um, so it's off a go in second, mate. About 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. 10, 15, 10 minutes. It means that the man's heart is beating, but it's so weak and out of rhythm that blood is not being pumped around his body. And obviously we don't know anything about him. No. All right. No medical alert bracelets. Can we clear some people? Who yes. do you need these? Thank you ever so much. Pleasure. Once again, the team need to shock the man's heart. Clear. Okay. Back on the chest. Back on the chest. Okay. We have been suctioned in his airway. Okay. Uh, he has been getting progressively worse with his airway. Everybody needs to listen because everyone needs to know what's happening. All right, at the next two minute gap, we're going to do ultrasound of the heart, see what's happening there. He's going to have some adrenaline um, and some amiodarone. Everyone happy? Yeah, you yeah. They've been giving chest compressions for just over 20 minutes. Do you want me to take over? I'm, I'm all right. You're all right? Are we getting much out of there? Right. Rhythm assessment. Okay. Rhythm assess. So okay. Sinus rhythm. Sinus rhythm. Any pulse? I was going to say, yeah, he's, he's making effort. Pulse. He's making effort. effort. Yeah, he's breathing. He's breathing. Lovely. breathing. The best relief is when you actually get a heart rate, when you bring the patient back. It's something that you cannot describe. Even though the patient is breathing, his condition is critical. He needs immediate hospital care. Nice, I'm ready. Yes, OK. Hello, it's the ambulance here. Got an alert for you. We've got an uh, adult male, unsure of age, cardiac arrest. He's not awake, but he's breathing for himself. And got a pulse. Yeah. yeah. We're actually getting good respirators, we're getting good CO2. Uh, we have an airway that works. 30 minutes after his cardiac arrest, the patient arrives at A&E. Ready? Okay. In recess, an emergency team is waiting for him. They'll need to work quickly if they're to stabilise his condition. I think that's an interesting thing. 
This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. That was a bit of a job. You're telling me. We got him back, so we did. Yes, we did our part. Save the life. We did our part. That's what the job's all about, isn't it? It makes a difference when you actually save someone's life. Mm -hmm. Let's just hope he can recover. I say hopefully. Uh, mm -hmm. He gets sorted and we can go back home. Nice. Yeah. Do you not think we should carry tea on the ambulance? Do you know what? Because I've said this quite a lot. Because in a crisis, what do people want? They want a cup of tea. They want a cup of tea. If we had a little tea and coffee machine, I'm not saying take up everything, but you know, keep all the important stuff, all the important equipment. I'm sure we could streamline enough space. We could just a little just tea a small, or coffee just machine, just a tiny one. Yeah, and everyone would be much happier with tea. I mean, 100 percent, definitely. Paramedics Aaron Campbell and Hannah Meredith have worked together for more than two years. New assignment. Good. Right, sir. Well, this is a little jaunt out. Got an 89 year old female that can't stand up. This will be their fifth patient of the day. The patient's husband, 89-year-old Sam, is waiting for the ambulance crew to arrive. Hello. Hello, madam. Who are we here this for? This is the old one. Hello. Hello, Cocker. What's your name, sweet? My name? Yeah. Mary. Mary. I'm Hannah, and this is Aaron. Um, what's going on, then? What's happened? At the moment, she can't stand. Normally, she walks on a walker to go to the toilet or in the room, but now she's tumbling down. She can't hold it. She's not eating, not drinking, or, uh, nothing like that. The and they just can't get to the toilet. She is 90 in May, and um, I'm the only carer. Then I'm lost. I'm all on my own. OK. Now, is it, have you got the picture at the moment? Yep. Oh, Sounds good that. to me. <laughs> Sam has been Mary's primary carer since she was diagnosed with dementia and Alzheimer's eight years ago. I'm going to put this on your arm, Mary. You can. Thank you. <laughs> you got a nice face. I don't have a nice face. You you, nice we'll get your eyes tested as well today, Mary, no, I think. No, I don't. You've obviously got something wrong with your eyesight, haven't you? Don't. <laughs> you do well to manage yourself, don't you? It's hard going at times. I'm me. sure it is. Sam had been looking after Mary um, pretty much on his own for a number of years. One of the things that we can do as an ambulance service is contact social services and see what assistance they can provide. And um, things like carers or adaptions around the home. Um, can, subtle things can be really helpful for people in their sort of later years. Look at me, I've been here five minutes, you've got me on my knees already. <laughs> yeah. You're proposing. I am, yeah. I'm proposing you give me a drop of blood from your finger. Uh -huh. How's that? <laughs> Sharp um, scratch. Ow. Sorry. What's your name? Aaron. Aaron? Yeah, like Elvis's middle name. Oh, yeah, that's a nice <laughs> one. Where'd you get that from? Me mum? Never. Me mum named me Aaron, yeah. Yeah. You're stuck with it now. Yeah, I can't get rid of it now, Mary, you're right. You don't need to, do you? No, nah, it's all right, isn't it? It is. Mary, do you think you can have a stand up? Stand up? Yeah. Oh dear. You're going to take me with you? <laughs> oh, can't Ooh, look. No? No. What about if we pull it out a little bit like this? There we are. Okay. Hello. I'm quite tall, you, aren't you? Just a kid. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Your husband's going to be slapping my face in a minute. I don't think so. <laughs> Can I go down? Just a second. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right, you know. Yeah? 
Can't find anything wrong with you? No, thank you. Well, we can't see any signs of infection, but it could possibly be a water infection. We can't leave her here because you can't manage, so we'll, we're going to have to take her up to Newcross. Mary has a history of urinary infections. With her last one, she was in hospital for three weeks. Thank you. Blanket well, coming on. Where are we going now? You're going to Newcross Hospital to have a check up yeah. and see how they are and see if you can come back home again or they're going to give you some tablets for the night or something, I don't know. You coming? I am going to be coming here. Okay. You're going to get rid of me that quick. OK. <laughs> right, Come by, come by. Wait. Come by, come by. A bit of Welsh, eh, look? <laughs> <laughs> it sure is, Mary. <laughs> OK. I'm going to put it down there, I'll come in. Keep going, Mark. Is Sam coming? He is. He is. Good. <laughs> we need you on here, sweetheart. Oh. <laughs> there oh. we go. You're all right. You're all right. Step up there. There we go. Beautiful. Thank you. You want to sit in there or do you? No, there. Uh, you there, please. <laughs> Set me one, Sam. So doesn't know where she is. <laughs> See you up the other side, Mary. Okay. The other side. <laughs> You're warm enough, darling. Yeah. Not bad at all, Sam. You yeah. all right? Well, I mean, I don't, if we're going to get you right. How long did you say you two have been married? 67 years. Oh, wow. You need a party, Mary? Yeah, and we've been together since 1946. Wow. Uh, 71 years. Mm, blimey. And we met round Wolverhampton Fair. Oh. You were in the land army, I was in the army. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I fancy this, a uh, mate, though. Oh, oh, she wasn't your first choice then. Not in Nelly. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like her, would I? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, we haven't done them. We had five children and I have just lost a daughter. Oh, I'm so, sorry. Good chance. Love you, son. I love you too, my son. And off we go. Into the wild blue yonder. <laughs> All right, Cocker. Okay. All right, Cocker. Okay. Good. Have you tried? Yeah, I'm good. All right. Unfortunately, Mary's dementia has been getting worse over the years. Where are we going? New Cross Hospital. Oh. You might not be stopping, but you'd probably go to a check up there. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, we don't know yet. And you bring me out? We don't know yet, yeah. darling. You know, when you're better. Yeah. No good coming home when I can't walk you up the stairs and get you in bed. Okay. We'll look one another down with them. Of course we do, darling. Yeah. It is really nice to see <laughs> couples like Sam and Mary, um, you know, well into their 80s, 90s, and, and still sort of almost in the 20s and 30s in their head. Um, and the way Sam spoke about Mary as well, you could, you could tell it was, it was still very real. It was, you know, it was still the most important person in his life. Oi, oi! You all right, Cocker? You all right? I'm all right, Cocker. <laughs> you all right, Cocker? I am Cocker, are you? <laughs> It doesn't sound right when you say it. It's all cocky now. Isn't it? Mary will now have further tests to establish if she has a urine infection or if there's something else causing her to feel weaker than normal. It's a bit nippy, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. I wanted to take Sam and Mary home. They were cool, weren't they? They were so cute together. She wanted to take me home. <laughs> she, she did. She yeah. asked. <laughs> Aw, they were lovely. Yeah. Been together 71 years. Well, some people don't even live that long. <laughs> I know. I reckon it's just her uh, dementia getting worse, you know. I, it did cross my mind. They'll find out. Yeah. yeah.
It's very bright outside. You're gonna get crew shades on. Same shades. I don't. Oh, no, because you won't let me drive. I'll let you drive on the next job, after the next job. Oh, okay. will you? Can I wear the same shades? Pretty please. You're not going to be a team player. You can't wear the team shades, can you? Will you manage that then? <laughs> oh, bless you. Thank you. On the outskirts of Dudley are paramedic Stee Hill and technician Harley Mosley. Oh, look at this. Friday evening, we're in the countryside. The thing I'm missing is a cider. That'd be better, wouldn't it? Stee has been a registered paramedic for six years. Harley used to be in the army before deciding to retrain. What would be your worst date that you've been on? I don't think I've been on many where, like, it's gone that bad that I've really not wanted to see somebody again. I went on a date once with a guy, right? He rocked up. It was nothing like his pictures, obviously, his internet dates in Malarkey. Anyway, I texted my friend and I was like, will you, will you, like, phone me or something, you know, to get me out of this date? Will you phone me, please? Yeah, she didn't. And then she texted me back and she went, why, what's the matter? And I texted back and I said, I really don't like him. He's nothing like his pictures. I'm absolutely bored, scentless. I've sent loads of emojis. And he gave me a really funny look. I'd only text him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oops. <laughs> it's not long before an emergency call comes in. Oh. New assignment. So we're going to ill. Chest and abdo pain. Too ill for all normal activities. Neck pain. What does he name again? Amy. 19-year-old Amy lives with her parents and new baby daughter. Oh, look at the little baby. Oh. Hello, you all right? Yes. I'm, uh, Hello, I'm Harley. Steve's just Harley. coming. Harley. That's my daughter's name. Hello. Oh, is it? Oh, Hello, Harley. Name? Oh, <laughs> Old another, Harley. Another female Harley. Oh, oh bless her. Oh, you've picked a good name. Hello, mate. Hi. Hello. Um, what's happened this evening, well, then? I was uh, last, not last <coughs> week, week before, and the week before that, I was in hospital with gallstones and okay. pain. And obviously, they kept me in for two Did weeks. You feel your pulse. Which mm. I didn't enjoy. Just relax. Uh, and they said that. They let me out, but they said if I start feeling the pain again, or if it was in my chest especially, to come back. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even get the chance to go to the thingy. I literally have just been sick as well. He said to watch out for the chest pain, which is there. Yeah. Because um, okay. he said that could be something to do with the pancreas, and they'd want me back in as soon as possible, really, if that happens. Yeah. I didn't know what else to do with the words. I wouldn't have phoned. No, don't worry. How many times have you been sick today? Um, just once. Just that once. BP's alright, mate. Yeah. I'm 30, systolic. Have you got pain at the moment? In my chest and my abdomen. Okay. When we got there, she was in some quite severe pain um, and quite distressed. Um, and doctors had advised before if she had any problems to return back to hospital. Um, so we thought it was uh, in the best patient's best interest to go back to hospital. Jump up there, mate, and we'll pop you on the bed. Are you right, yeah. Sit on there, mate, swing your legs up. Amy's mum is going with her in the ambulance, while baby Harley stays at home with her granddad. All right, mate. Harley, you good to go? Yeah. Moving off. OK. You got your seatbelt. Oh, How are you feeling now? A bit better. Um, yeah. The pain's like a one at the minute, so I'm just more worried about the baby, to be honest. I was just about to say, but you're more worried about the little one. Yeah. Look. I know she's all right, it's just... Yeah. Okay. The baby. You're not going a million miles away? No. Yeah. I'm, I'm just worried that they're going to tell me that I've got to stop in again. Yeah. 
Amy was um, quite hesitant about going into hospital because um, she'd recently had a young baby. I am a mum myself, so you know, it, it's a bit daunting if you don't know obviously what's going to happen. Um, so with a bit of reassurance, she was quite happy to go. The thing is, if you go in now, yeah, you might be in a couple of days. Yeah, if you left it, you could be in there weeks. Yeah. That's what happens. Well, that's, 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 what, that's why I was in there weeks before. When I had it, anything to set mine off. Yeah. Have you had gold firms as well? I mean, I did. Yeah. So they, they said it might be hereditary or something. Yeah. Amy will be assessed by doctors, who will decide whether she requires surgery. She seemed all right, didn't she? She'd obviously yeah. got gallstones, whether it was just that causing her the pain. Could be pancreatitis. Pancreatitis, pancreatitis yeah. Pancreatitis, well, they though. told her to come back, didn't they? Yeah, so. so. Um, I mean, she was more worried about leaving the baby behind, which she's yes, going to be, isn't she, really? He was all right, though, once she walked out. Yeah. Burners. Nice young lady. Nice family. Yeah. And their daughter had the same name as you. As me. Little, little Harley. <laughs> Even better. Even better. <laughs> Spring snow has returned to the West Midlands. Hello. Hello, Scott. Hello, Scott. I actually recognise someone. I know, yeah. V Hodgkins is a mentor to student paramedics. Today she's working with a former trainee, Ollie Raven, who's now fully qualified. Ah, there we go. Category three. Oh, it's 92. Oh, it's 92. Oh. Says that he's fallen and says no injuries. Um, but Take a second exit at roundabout. Oh, it's a ripe old age. It is, yeah. I think I might have been to this gent before and had to break into his house. Dennis, their patient, lives on his own and has done for the past 12 years since his wife passed away. His carer, Julie, is waiting for the crew. Hiya. How are we? Dennis, the being there, He's been on the floor for more than two hours. How are we doing? Hello, Dennis. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Not very well. Yes, I met Dennis before. My oh, name's no, Ollie. Yeah, this is V, Dennis. <laughs> What's happened, Dennis? Just throw it. Let's go and dry. Yeah, I'll just give us your pen torch, mate. Open your mouth, Dennis. How long have you been down here for? About two hours. Have you had a cough at all? You've had a bad chest? Yeah, he looks quite unkempt compared to, to when I when I came last time. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. What medications is he on? Have you got a list of them somewhere? Or the pack or something? Come here, young Dennis. It's, uh, Dennis, we'll just do some checks on you. I've been to Dennis before, so to go out to him this time is quite shocking. He was so thin, so much weight loss. Um, you could hardly hear what he was saying. He was actually a very poorly man at that time. Dennis, can I just have a feel of the back of your neck? Have you got any pain here at all? No. What about in your hips? Have you got any pain here? No. Dennis, I'm just going to have a listen to your breathing. Say, yeah. Uh, well, that sounds irregular. OK. I think Dennis needs to go in, do you, Ollie? I think so. Yeah. I definitely think so. Dennis! I don't like this. <laughs> I think we're going to have to pop you into hospital. You, you don't seem very well to us. Dennis, if we thought that you were well enough to leave at home, we would. And I've left you at home before. We've met before, and I've left you at home. But today, yeah, things are a bit different. 
It was sad to see Dennis the way he was. Um, he had a lot going on. His blood pressure was low. His blood sugar was low. He needed to get to be taken to hospital. Ready, steady, lift. Here we go, Dennis. Are you right to stay in? Let's get you in the warm, Dennis. Got you, Dennis. V and Ollie are giving Dennis intravenous fluids to bring up his low blood pressure. Okay, Ollie, so this is saline. Yeah. 500 mil, I'll give you a big one. Um, yeah. You all right, Dennis? We'll get going in a second. I'll get that heater on. Do you feel cold? Freezing. Yeah. Ollie's heart will warm you up. <laughs> maybe. If you get to catch him on a good day. Cold hands, warm heart, that's what they say about me. Concerned about Dennis's condition, V and Ollie head off. You're not a well man, this chap. You still feeling okay, Dennis? Cold, I know, I know. We've got you wrapped up in blankets and the heating is coming on. OK, it's warmer in hospital as well. All right. It takes nearly 15 minutes to get to hospital. Up it. Yeah. Dennis will be thoroughly examined to try and work out what has caused his extreme weight loss and fatigue. Wasn't very well, was he, Dennis? No, bless these cotton socks. I think, uh, I think, sadly, something's going on there, isn't it? That's making him quite unwell. The carers were very concerned, weren't they? Yeah. Rapid loss of weight. But he he's is now not... in hospital, and he's being, you know, he's going to be nursed, isn't he? He's going to be nursed and cared for. Comfortable, so. yeah. yeah. And to be fair to him, he's he's 92, isn't he? He's he's done well. It, what well, we said on the way to the job, didn't we, what a grand old age yeah, that well, was? Yeah, well, exactly, yeah. yeah. I think, for work, I think companies should provide us with our own snowmobiles. Well, it snows. No, like the, the little things that you sit on, they're like, they're like jet skis, but on, like, skis. Probably a bit more awkward when we hit the tarmac again. Yeah, well, but there again, you can have tracks on them, like tank tracks. Ambulance service fired for destroying roads. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sunday lunchtime, and it's still snowy. I'm so tired. No, don't yawn. <gasps> no, look, you're going to get me going. Regular crewmates Tina Spittle and Donna Parcell are off to see a special patient. Let's go off to our, uh, one of our own. They've been called to treat the father of a fellow paramedic with the West Midlands Ambulance Service. Not that I give any better care, but it isn't one of those that you want to look after our, our own little family, sort of kind of thing, our Ambo family. Tina and Donna have known the patient's son, Kevin, for six years. He's at work today? He is, Kevin. I've seen him earlier. There we go. I don't know which way to go now. Mm -mm. Oh, that's grass. Thanks, Sniff. Hello. 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 Sorry, I've got about enough snow to bring in half the, half the street. There we go. Where are we going, it's darling? It's all right, yeah. Upstairs? Oh, there we go. Something smells good. That smells Sunday, Sunday dinner. Sunday. That smells of a Sunday dinner to me. Hello, my darling. Hello. What I'll... do we call you, sweetheart? What's happened today, sweetheart? So my heart all night, I've been pounding away. Pounding away, is it? So He's got this thing that's on his finger. Oh, yeah? OK. And it's it went 129 at one time. But it, it keeps going up and down now. An adult's normal resting heart rate is 60 to 100 beats per minute. Bernie's is significantly higher. Do you suffer with your heart normally? I'm on marine blockers and uh, metabolism up here on that box. Okay, I'll have a quick look in a minute. And the, are you in bed because of this? 
this fluttering in your heart, or have you felt unwell? Because the doctor told me what was the rest. So you felt your heart going pounding when you're lying flat. Yeah. So when you were in bed, it was going a bit crazy. Any pain when you've had that? No, no pain. Okay. Any heart attacks in the past? No, they tested me when I was in there for a heart attack, so it wasn't a heart attack. Either. Good. So I'm getting to your ankles, all right. He found his son. No, yeah. And he's found. He's found us. That's all right. He can do that. We'll let him off. <laughs> We've seen him today. Right. Can we do a few other checks? Just check yeah. your temperature. Are we allergic to anything? Are you kidding, boy? <laughs> oh, well. You've had enough time to escape, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. Okay. Right, I'm going to pop these dots on your chest to check your heart. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah it's just to get a closer point, look. Yeah. Have you still got that tightness now? It, yeah, it's, I don't yeah. think it's in my chest. So I don't know. He's got an irregular heartbeat, yeah. which we know about. Yeah. He's got a bundle branch, Brock, but it's a right-sided one, which I guess is old for him. Yeah. So nothing jumping out too much. Bernie had um, a complex cardiac condition, which included a right bundle branch block. This is an electrical issue in the heart. Um, he's lived with this condition for some time. However, the new episode of chest tightness today was of concern to both of us. Just have a listen to his chest as well, if he's saying yeah, he's got this yeah. tight tightness. Just nice, deep breaths if you can. Lovely, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> chest sounds clear. Have you ever been told that you've got angina? Yeah, he has got angina. Well, nah, he mentioned it at the hospital, but I never said exactly. Right, OK. Let's do a little pressure. That doctor at the hospital, he, he gave me one of these white sprays. And... That's it. Oh, yeah. GTN spray is medication given to patients who suffer with angina. The spray helps relax the chest muscles, and it could be just the thing to help Bernie. If you have this pressure, so like you described earlier, you said in the middle of the night you felt like there was a, a bit of a tightening. Yeah. Then give the, yourself one spray, wait 15 minutes and then have another. After those two sprays, if there's no improvement, you get us out. I'll tell you where we are with everything. Your heart trace, OK, that we've done, is showing d damage, OK? But it's showing damage that predominantly is old. There's nothing showing that it's a problem today. However, I can't give you 100% guarantee that everything is OK. On that basis, our recommendation is always, if you have chest pain, you go into hospital. Are you happy for that to happen, or do you want to stay here? I'll stay here, no chest pain. You've had a, this squeezing, that's my yeah. only concern. Oh, yeah, and that can be interpreted as a pain. So that's why our recommendation is always that you go up to hospital, OK? But, again, I can't force you to go. Just could, we can walk out this door now, and if in a minute's time that you feel unwell again, you can call us back. Yeah. You know, you... There is that option. Don't bother with your son. <laughs> call us. Yes. Did Kevin say he was going to come up, or is he no, stuck on a job? He was in a, he's stuck on a job, so... OK. Where is it at? Oh, here it is. Will that be Kevin? Hello. <laughs> Hello, my lovely. Tina. Hello. Da -da -da -da. Oh, here. Hello. Do you want an update? I have explained to him that because he's had some kind of chest tightness, um, you know, our advice is automatically going to be casualty. No. <laughs> How did you know that? Anyway, I'll pass you over to Mum. All right then, my lovely. See you later. There you go. All right. Bless him. Hang on a minute. Just, <laughs> is it just Tina that's excellent? Not not me. <laughs> Say yes. Yeah. Yes, it's just yes. Tina. The cheek. And <laughs> Bal. And excellent. Oh, bless him. <laughs> Ta -ra. Mm. He says, you're excellent, son. Oh, bless him. Just Tina. Yeah, just me. <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm amazing. You're right. yeah. With Bernie not wanting to go to hospital, it's time for the ambulance team to say goodbye. Right then, in the nicest possible way, we don't want to see you again. 
<laughs> All right, darling, you take care. Bye-bye. Donna, 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 did you hear? I am amazing. No, I didn't, I didn't hear anything, any words of the sort. I think you're lying. I think now I heard distinctly. No, no. Tina is amazing. Anything. Did not hear it. Oh. That's what I'm going to go with. I feel like I should write that on my CV now. Yeah, whatever. Right. <laughs> yeah. Not listening. Incredibly, the man who had suffered a cardiac arrest at the wheel of his car is doing well. In hospital, he was put into an induced coma for five days to allow his body to recover. He stayed a further 18 days before being discharged. He's now back at home and is still very weak, but should make a full recovery. Mary was diagnosed with pneumonia in both lungs and a urine infection. She stayed in hospital for three weeks. She's now at home, being cared for by her husband Sam, now with extra support from regular carers. New mum Amy, who was suffering from gallstone pain, didn't stay long in hospital. However, she's since had surgery and the stones were so large, they had to remove her entire gallbladder. She's recovering well from her operation. Ninety-two-year-old Dennis spent 10 days in hospital to build up his strength. He's still very weak and is being visited more regularly by carers at home. Bernie, whose son works for the West Midlands Ambulance Service, went to hospital the following day to have his heart checked out. He was diagnosed with a respiratory tract infection and given antibiotics and steroids. He's not had any problems since. I guess that's the beauty of this job. You never quite know what you're going to get. 